streets ain't she cute ain't she sweet every time my susie passes them by each time she passes them by the 40 acre four got started kind of on a lark there were some a friend of mine was was singing in a barbershop quartet and had for several years arthur and arthur was just singing with a few other people and i was walking down the stairs of a fraternity house and heard some people singing and thought huh that sounds pretty good i like that so i just kind of weaseled my way into there and started singing and he thought i could do it because not everybody can sing in a quartet this kind of close harmony well, it seemed pretty fun, and he asked me to join Longhorn Singers, which is a co-ed group uh, at UT. I think it's still there. When I joined, Longhorn Singers had this specialty group, the, a quartet that Arthur started. Mike, Rick, Marshall, and I started this, I think, in 1973 uh, at Longhorn Singers as that specialty act, and we've been singing for almost 50 years ever since. And we didn't have a lot of sheet music because that was not a particularly popular form of music in the early 70s. I mean, think about the time. The Vietnam War was winding down, but still going on. Rock and roll was here to stay. We had hippies on the drag for the first time. We had flower power. We had protests. We had people marching down Congress Avenue. It was quite a different time. And suddenly here are four guys who want to sing barbershop quartet music. You know, most barbershop quartets are old goats, uh, you know, as we are now. But uh, in those days, we were the the young bucks. And, uh, you know, it, it was just fun to to sing and try to, try to put some new life in some old barbershop type situations. At one point, um, we started singing in Austin for the local chapter of the Society for the Preservation and Encouragement of Barbershop Quartet Singing in America, otherwise known as the SPEBSQSA. So Austin had a local chapter of the SPEBSQSA and we started going down to, uh, to uh, uh, sing with them. And, you know, they really took us under their wings. I mean, we were these young studs in the, in the barbershop organization. And they said, you know, you guys really ought to compete in one of our contests. And we said, really, you got barbershop contests? And they said, oh yeah, these barbershop contests are great. So, you know, we'll teach you guys a few songs and we'll teach you how to walk on stage and introduce yourselves. And, and it was great fun. And we participated in this contest and lo and behold, we won the novice quartet division that year. And that's when things really started to take off. But there were, I think, 20,000 barbershop singers around the country with different chapters around, around the country in almost every city, including in Austin and San Antonio. Dallas had a couple. In the competition arena, we qualified in 1976 to go sing in the International Barbershop Quartet Contest that was being held in San Francisco. So we went out to San Francisco, four young college guys. I was in law school. Uh, the other guys were still at the university in undergrad. And we went out to, or they had just graduated perhaps that May, but we went out there in July. Again, we were all broke. Uh, one of the guy's dads decided that he would drive us out there. So we drove out to San Francisco with three of us riding in the bed of a pickup truck and he was pulling a, a full camper. And this was in the end of June, the 1st of July, because it was all culminating in on July the 4th. But we sang in the Cow Palace before an audience of 15,000 and competed as four young college kids. Now, the one thing that was different, we named it the 40 Acre Four after the original 40 acres from the University of Texas, of course. That's what everybody around Austin would know. But nobody in the Society for the Preservation of Barbershop Quartet Singing in America would know about the 40 acres. So they immediately thought that we were farmers. One of the sticks that we took was one of the costume sets that we wore were overalls with crazy shirts. And that's one of the things that we did is to go out to San Francisco, compete, um, looking like farmers, even though we were a quartet from the University of Texas. We were hired and would fly around doing that for a while until I realized, well, my wife realized that, you know what, you were married. We were recently married. 
and you're working during the week and on the weekend you can't keep traveling you know traveling around the country for these barbershop shows i know you love it i know you love it but i had to stop that because we we could have been traveling every weekend there are a lot there were a lot of shows at the time and we could have done one every weekend if if we wanted years later jay's son had a bar mitzvah and Jay contacted all of us and he said, hey guys, why don't we get together just like we used to do in the early years when one of us would get married and we'd sing at each other's weddings. Let's get together and we'll sing a couple songs at my son's bar mitzvah. And I thought, what a great opportunity. So we all traveled down to Houston and that's when the four of us got back together again. And we continued singing and getting together and, and performing at other family events. We've always been, once we get together, the uh, pitch pipe blows and here we go. You know, we're just, and it's funny, even 50 years later, how the uh, the tunes will come back and the words will come back and uh, that we might not have sung a song in, you know, 30 or 40 years, but it comes back to us. For I'll never give my heart. this chemistry the, the reason that we continue to sing together after 50 years is is the four of us just have this chemistry together we were together at such a, a formative time in our lives I mean at, at the time it just seemed like like life as usual but now as we look back on it those were really special years and I think we had a, a sense of that at the time but but here we are now in our our late 60s and and we look back at those times when we were in our late teens and early 20s, and it's just a part of who we are now. Being in the quartet in college and being able to continue that has not only been fun, but it's been this thread, and not just with the four of us, but with our wives and our families, that kept, keeps us together no matter what. It's been a beautiful thing, and we don't ever want to stop. It's embedded in us. It's part of us. We are the 40 Acre Four. Light a rose, I'm holding it rose. About a thousand kisses shy. Ding dong, ding. I can hear the chapel bells chime. Ding dong. Suggestion 